The weekend begins with contract negotiations spilling out into the streets and uh, really that language. Um, I tell you that I was thrown out of a van this weekend and that's the first thing you write for me to say. Spilling out into the streets. Um, Look at this. Sexy bacon in the boombox in hand. Only the gods themselves can stop him and a lightning strike. But look at this. Sexy Bacon, can he hold on to first? Bomb on his ass. Doesn't release it in time. Takes himself out, but he's going forward. He's still got it. But Donald Hawk has a chance to close the gap. Bumping, grinding. Sexy Bacon gets across the line in first. Incredible stuff to see. And wow, wow, wow. Look at this replay. But um, yeah, they say, oh, we're going to do this again, but worse next week. And I go, I'm still not going to have the money. You know, that's not the issue is that I haven't been thrown out of a van. I don't have $80,000, but go ahead. Throw me out of a van again. I bounce back. I'm the bounce back king. But uh, speaking of the contract disputes spilling out into the streets, Marky Mark pulling a bit of a stunt. He's got a Waluigi showing up in his place and he's sitting out the first event of the weekend. He would show up later on. But he makes a point. He says these contract disputes between him and the commissioner and the league, uh, he's not going to take it. And we'll get into a little bit later on what these demands are, but he's not a happy guy. And he's sitting out and saying, look at what I bring. And when I sit out, people notice. But Donald Hawk up in first place gets hit with the blue shell over the gap. Really generous placement. You know, those blue shells right then can be really difficult. But Sexy Bacon takes advantage of the reset and a beautiful shell right to Donald Hogg's face, but Donald Hogg unable to fully recover. As you look at the map, Sexy Bacon running away with this thing, and he leaves a gift for Donald Hogg, a bomb courtesy of Sexy Bacon, and he just creates a little bit more room. Definitely Donald Hogg could have passed uh, Special Tay for second place, and that's a big move by Sexy Bacon, but a fun finish for the people in the back, and Sexy Bacon starting to run away with this. But... You know, speaking of the money, and I hope that by next weekend I'm a, a little bit closer to it. But, you know, I got an email the other day and some money making opportunities, perhaps, is pretty exciting. And it starts off, it says, my name is Victoria and I'm the CEO and lead model for one of America's largest lingerie companies. I'll let my first name be a hint as to which one. And there's a sideways winking face, which is quite playful. Uh, I'll cut to the chase. Oh, uh, final stretch. This is exciting stuff. So let's look at this Rachisaur. And you look at that Waluigi racing in first place. The league has asked us not to show uh, the Waluigi on the Wiggler that filled in for Marky Mark. We're doing our best there, but you're going to see some clips. We apologize to the league. But first place for that fill in. Rachisaur in second place. And let's look at Sexy Bacon coming in. And Donald Hogg, you see that little blip? can't make the gap and he gets dropped down you see him coming in seventh eighth really tough for the three stars one of them sitting out i mean mark marky mark technically came in first the waluigi filling in for him did and then just the other two stars falling off but that's a joke level to be quite honest and uh it doesn't deserve to be on the on the circuit but that kind of move does deserve to be on the circuit really exciting stuff and look at that waluigi blowing up sexy bacon Special Tay getting hit in the gap, and Gab Gab just looking good as always. So the final stretch is exciting. Donald Hogg running away with this thing. And look at this, the banana throw. And that might come back to haunt Sexy Bacon. Look at this. It is hunting season on Waluigi. Sexy Bacon on his tail. And he's going in a little sloppy, but nothing sloppy about this. Shell work hits him, flies over, hits the banana and just absolute chaos unfolds. But um, the email continues. I'll cut to the chase. My libido cannot be satisfied. Oh, that was the end of the event. Sexy Bacon won. Pride event coming up. My libido, speaking of pride, I guess, uh, I'm a player sexual, but my libido cannot be satisfied. And I am currently building a stable of virile men in the hopes they they can satisfy me. Sounds interesting. Mr. Austin, I would like you to lead that stable. Hmm. Provide me with your banking information. I will send you your first payment. How much that is yet to be discussed. Look at this sexy bacon flying across for first. He's just in another zone. And we look back in some of the chaos behind 
gab gab flying around having fun pumping people but look at this flames come and about four racers pass him donald hogg way in the back finishes 11th place player another 12th to start an event just wasn't locked in and i you know that method acting that he's doing these days must be getting to his head but chaos on the track this is fun flames flying in special tay then running into the back oh yoshi sort of running into the back of gab gab bombs going off hitting special tay just absolute chaos but ooh, tanis looking good on that bike and up front the blue shell comes but it is no problem for sexy bacon we look at the final stretch and donald hogg flying in there he is in second place once again trying to chase down sexy bacon and he is not quite going to be able to do it it's just so close but um as far as the email goes you know for an average man for for a regular person you might think okay <laughs> um red flags going off this is but for a man of my stature it's one of those things that's it's possible and i think that is worth exploring opportunities i did say for 2023 i'm going to say yes to more things and this is one of them but um <sighs> look at this the gods himself but i'm sorry i uh, i'm so distracted right now my chair is steaming hot and um i don't mean to throw any colleagues under the bus um but uh I was, Scott Walker was using the studio before me, and look at this Starla, he, she's got the banana peel and the bomb, and what a combo to take out Sexy Bacon, but I I came into the studio, he was using it about half an hour before me, I'm used to a warm chair, but I'm not used to this, I don't think that this is an acceptable level of heat to come off of a human being, especially 30 minutes after, and my chair is steaming hot, so... Special Tay flying in, he crosses a line before the blue shell becomes a problem, and Starla with the interesting second place. And we start to see some, I don't know, potential from Starla, who's been on the track so much this year and done absolutely nothing, but uh, exciting stuff. And we go into the final event, Marky Mark having fun out there, acting like he didn't just sit out the first event. And, you know, it's great to see him out there having fun. That's what we pay to see. That's the exciting stuff. That's why we love MK. So great to see that he's back out there. And let's hope there's no more stunts. But the two stars. Woo, and here's Gab Gab. But yeah, this chair, it's just, it's tough to, to really get in the zone and really do my job the way that I need to do it when I feel like my pants are being steamed at the moment. But here's an exciting, exciting finish. Three-star hunting. You might not have noticed it, but the piranha plant gets sexy bacon. But Starla's got another star in her sight. Avoids the flames. Avoids the shell. The piranha plant doing all the work. And here comes a shell from Marky Mark. Starla flying in. Not quite enough to get past Donald Hogg. But an exciting finish. And oh boy. Send in the clowns. Special Tay. What are you thinking? Going off the track, flying around, and... Ooh, here it gets even worse. Just sloppy, sloppy mushroom work. And just somehow finishes in sixth. Not a good look for the league, for Special Tay to be in the Champions League spot, to somehow make ground on Carly this week. But, man, Special Tay was all over the track, and... So we look at the standings now. Donald Hogg and Sexy Bacon. There is a chance Sexy Bacon can pull off the improbable, improbable, improbable comeback in the final weekend of the season. Nine points back. He just needs Donald Hogg to have one really bad race or two thirds and then finish both firsts. Do I expect it to happen? No, I don't expect it to happen. Do I think Sexy Bacon's capable of getting those two first? Yes. I think Sexy Bacon's going to go out there. He's got a really good chance to get those two first. What I'm not expecting is Donald Hogg to get two seconds. We saw the worst race of his season came in fifth place. Eight points. So really the dream, the possibility, the road for Sexy Bacon could be these these few paths 
I would say most likely for him to win the championship, it's going to be a fourth place for Donald Hogg and a second place for Donald Hogg. And Sexy Bacon is going to get two firsts. That's going to do a sudden death race to decide the entire league. And boy, oh boy, I, that's the one that I want to see. That's going to be the most exciting if that can happen. If Donald Hogg just falls off nine points and Sexy Bacon's able to capitalize on that and tie him, I think that's the one that race fans would just go absolutely insane for. But uh, outside of that, two thirds might do it. Uh, a bad, a fifth and a second might do it. But I really want that fourth and I want that second. But if anything less than that, Donald Hogg's going to be walking away from this with the first place in the league. And I think that's what's going to happen. But let's do a little rundown in a segment I like to call headlines with Mike Austin. So it all begins as contract negotiations start leaking out. Sexy Bacon and Donald Hogg are apparently close to inking eight digit deals. And MK1 apparently, they're not dealing with as much money as MKS. So these are big deals and they're really motivated by the fact that the commissioner wants shiny big headlines uh, really to usurp what MKS is paying their stars. Midas got paid $7.6 million to be the star of that league. And MK1 wants to make a statement that we're giving eight digit contracts to our stars. So 10 plus million dollars to both Sexy Bacon and Donald Hogg. Where the issues start happening is that there's a lot of financial issues in MK1. You know, you see it from the outside and you think that it's the biggest league in racing. It's making raking in cash but they're really not as liquid as you'd like to think there's a lot of debt there and apparently the pool that they're playing with is somewhere in the range of 25 to 27 million dollars so at best you're getting two 10 million dollar contracts and having seven million dollars left and at worst i mean let's say these deals are 12 million dollar contracts east and you've got a 25 million dollars to play with it's not a lot left for the stars. And really, when it's been marketed so much as the three stars, Marky Mark has a lot of reasons to feel a bit slighted for not being included in these deals. But going, you know, when these deals leaked, you know, Sexy Bacon was quick to say that, you know, anything short of signing over the league to him uh, should be seen as a discount. Donald Hogg quiet as always on the Western front. But Yoshi Sor pointing to some of the disparities between but the men at the top are being paid and well, some of the women are being paid, which is apparently close to $50,000. Uh, know, not a bad working contract. That's, that's similar to some of the contracts that uh, Scott and I negotiated back a while ago. Um, we didn't realize at the time that it was a joint contract and we were both being paid that $50,000 and we'd have to divvy it up afterwards. But turning our attention back to the Marky Mark scandal... You know, we're calling in Scott Walker. Thanks for joining us. First off, before we get into the implications off the track, just describe what it was like being there on Sunday in person. I mean, I was right in the pig pit, front row mm -hmm. seats. And, I mean, it was just absolute shock. I mean, we know, especially after the loser leave town, you know, there's this huge contingent of pigs just cheering on Marky Mark, Chen, USA, USA. They want to see the man himself racing. And he no-shows. In his spot is, you know, a Waluigi on the Caterpillar, one of the most, you know, hated setups, at least from an American perspective. I mean, it's, it, was, it was absolutely shocking to see. Yeah, and I'm trying to interview this guy after, you know, this Waluigi guy after the entire event, and he's speaking Japanese to me, no translator present. So it was, it was a huge mess, and, and it was kind of a middle finger to the entire league. And, and I think a lot of the hardcore fans, I understand, you know, we... You and I, we've been in some big contract disputes with ESPN and that, you know, we've had the details spill out, juicy details, because that's what happens when you're kind of a star and you got these big contract negotiations. But uh, one thing that we never did was sit it out because there are fans out there that are, uh, they rely right. on it, you know? That's right. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I understand that Marky Mark thinks, you know, he should be paid like just one of the three stars. He thinks him, SB, Donald... They're the three stars. They dominate the racing. They share all the revenue. But, I mean, I'm a 
big Marky Mark fan, but you got to admit, I mean, he's not in that class with Donald and SB. He was dethroned last year by a man who's frankly off the rails right now and isn't even safe to be driving. So yeah, definitely. I, it's tough to defend Marky Mark in this this act of. I don't even know. It's just kind of a spit in the face to the to all us pigs in this pig pen. Absolutely, and I mean these are hardworking guys. This is you know what I I'm I know how much money you have to pay to your ex wives. A lot of these guys are in a similar situation to me, oh, and yeah. they got alimony payments. They've got child support payments, and they're squeezing together every last penny to get into that pig pit. And to really just watch some Waluigi, you know drive around the track that's not that exciting and and thankfully for them donald hogg and Sex, sexy bacon putting on a big big show on that track though yeah and, and what's sad is that you know this weekend was a hell of a weekend we had sb clawing his way back up there's mm-hmm. all sorts of drama we got specialty running off the track we yeah. got yoshi source staying strong but all anyone can talk about is marky mark and his dramatics and him not showing up and it's really I don't know, man. It's it's just a, it's a blemish on MK1 this year for, for something that they're trying. They've got some competition now with MKS. You can't have one of the stars of the sport embarrass the league like this. And I guess, in your opinion, you're a big supporter of the league. You, you fall in line. You like yep. to kiss the boot. But um, what do you think of the commissioner's handling of this situation that he's created? You know, do you think that... Like you said, I, I agree with you in a sense that, you know, Donald Hogg and Sexy Bacon, they're in their own class. I think that they should get paid more. This is a free market society, but there's that three stars branding and to, in all reports, sort of give, you know, big contracts. They want that headline 10 plus million dollar contracts going to SB and Donald Hogg. And then to have maybe, you know, based on the reports we're hearing, three to five million dollars left over for the remaining 10 racers. Uh, Marky Mark can't feel good being left out of those discussions and sort of having to fight for the scraps afterwards. I mean, it can't feel good, but I mean, you also can't be off the podium. This is a three-star league, and mm-hmm. and you know, I think the commissioner gets a lot of criticism for people say protecting the three stars, protecting the three stars. But I mean, you know, we got Starla challenging, and then MK1 rewards her with a vacation. Um, yeah. We had Dolph challenging, and then Dolph got rewarded with going to the farm. So. You know, yeah. it's, I don't know, people I, are just... I still want to know what happened to Dolph. I haven't... His phone just... It used to ring and go to voicemail, and now it just disconnects. There's no... The line's but not in... That nice message, and then, you know, Starla was escorted right off the track, and, yeah. and you know, it's like a, a pharaoh being carried around on top of shoulders. She was in a nice little box being transported to uh, the beach, so... Yeah, I know. Um, I, I think that just shows that like they want competition. It's not just the three stars, everyone else. Nice. And um, I want to get you out on this question. And I was I came into the studio to do the highlights. And I know that you were in here recording one of your fun new segments about half an hour before I came. I sat down in the chair and it was steaming hot. And I'm just wondering what exactly was happening. It's, it's, it was hot even if you had just gotten up out of it, but I know that you were gone for about half an hour. Nobody else was in the studio, and I'm just a bit concerned about the heat level of that chair. So I just want you to comment on that, please. I mean, did you see some of this racing out there? It's tough not to, not to get a not little to overheat. heated. Yeah, I mean, it's you got SB making those moves, clawing yeah. his way back up front. I mean, I think you'd be a corpse if you're not uh, sweating through your suit. Uh, yeah, but the chair was steaming, you know, it was... I mean, it was a hell of a race, as you can't deny. Yeah, that's true, but um, next time just use your uh, your other chair. You know, you're sitting in my chair, and uh, as I say, it was, it was pretty hot. Yeah, it's good to feel like, you know, sometimes I sneak in and pretend to be you, but it's... Noted. Yeah, well, thanks for calling in and uh, thanks for sharing your your thoughts on this. And we're going to have to, you know, expand on this in the drift if, you know, these contract negotiations continue like this.